congratulations to the Seattle Seahawks for their victory in the Super Bowl, but anyone who reads the Bible would have known they were going to win this whole time because the Bible verses support the fact that the Seahawks were going to win tonight. In fact, just take a look at what's in here. For example, look at Psalm 91 verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. And Psalm 104 verse 12. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. The Bible loves the waterfowl. The Bible also knew not only that Seattle would win, but that the Broncos would lose. Just check out Psalm 32 verse 9. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. And of course we should have known the Bible would have predicted the Seahawks victory, because the Bible loves the sea. It's on the first page, Genesis 1 uh, verse 2, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. It's right there. And who can forget the Gospels? In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, it says, And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That is totally about Coach Pete Carroll. So the Bible clearly knew the Seattle Seahawks were going to win the Super Bowl. Um, but none of this really matters because the game was played during the Sabbath, and so all the players are going to die and go to hell anyway. My name is Hemant Mehta, and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. Please leave a comment below, and we will be sure to check it out.